it's Alistair from Koyab. If you don't know about Koyab, we are building the fastest and simplest way to deploy applications globally to our 10 core locations and 55 edge locations. When I say Koyab is simple to use, I mean there's no DevOps or infrastructure management on your end. When you deploy on Koyab, you can count on its really cool features like DLS encryption, global load balancing, auto healing, all to work out of the box. Today's video, I'm going to show you our Git driven deployment feature, and we're going to deploy a simple Node.js application. So let's get started. I'm going to log into the Koyab control panel, and then I'm going to come over here and click deploy my first app. So you could use a pre-built Docker image, but today's video, we're going to focus on deploying with GitHub. Come here, we'll see my repositories listed. Then I'll specify that it's my main branch. Next thing is configuring the run and build commands. These commands tell Koyab how you want uh, Koyab to run and build your app. So my run command is yarn start. I don't need to specify a build command, but if you need to do that for your app, you could do so there. Next step is picking the container size. So if you need um, more resources, you can pick some of these. These are coming soon. But since my app is not so resource heavy, the Nano is good for me. Next step is selecting the region or regions you want your service to run. Since I like the city of love, I'm going to keep it as Paris. You could also come down here and scale up the number of instances you want. But for today's demo, I'm going to stick with just one. Next step is looking at the ports and protocols. If I want my service to be available publicly, all of that looks good to me, so I'm just going to keep it as is. If you need to add environment variables to your app, you could do so here. I don't need to do that for mine, so the final step is just naming my app and hitting create app. All right, cool, so my logs are going. You may be wondering, what is happening behind the scenes. So Koyeb fetched my repository and then automatically detected what language my source code is written in and then starts building my application for me. Current languages that the platform supports are Node.js, Python, Go, Ruby, Java, Scala. Uh, we have plans to add some more, so if you have any preferences about which languages you'd like to see come first, let us know in a comment below. So cool, the logs are going. Uh, something really cool about this feature that I want to highlight is that each time you get pushed to your repository, that triggers a new build and deployment on the Koya platform. So it's an excellent way to get continuous delivery like, built into your applications. All right, so my service is active. I'm going to go over here and click on this public URL. And here we'll see my application is live and healthy. Uh, you can see everyone gets a public domain, and that's it. So if you're ready to leave infrastructure management in the past, give Koyab a try. It's free. I'll link it below. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.